Hey, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking a look at Centrifuge. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. If you're going to invest into cryptocurrency, you should do your own thorough research before doing so. So any losses that you potentially may have, those will be on you. So yeah, do your own research before investing. That's all I can say. I'm not a financial advisor. Now, jumping into trading view, we are on the daily chart. Uh, check out the fundamental review I did on Centrifuge a couple of weeks ago. That will be in the top right uh, corner of your video. Click on the card and check out that video before watching this TA. Now, we are having a little pullback in the market. Centralized exchanges got their half a billion dollar in liquidations, which I was talking about a long time ago, actually for a couple of weeks. And a lot of actually a lot of smart people on YouTube are talking about this as well. Exchanges just can't resist pulling the plug on Bitcoin and liquidating those long positions, those over leveraged people on the markets. But what we're doing over here is potentially we are coming back to form a double bottom on the daily chart. And that would mean that we would have to come back all the way down to $1.50. Now, that would be a perfect double bottom. Now, if you're looking for a double bottom pattern without coming back that low, then potentially what you can just do is form a higher low. And that would still be considered a double bottom over here. And uh, with this double bottom pattern, let's say we did come back to the daily 55 EMA, which is what I actually see happening. We do have our uh, neckline over here, right? That would be our neckline. So if we take a trend line from the lowest point of the double bottom pattern to the neckline, then we place this trend line above the neckline and that will give you your target at $2.84. And that is, let me see, that is a 68% uh, trade from where we are right now. Now, would I start buying into Centrifuge right now? Yes, probably. This is a very good time to start dollar cost averaging into it because as you can see, if you zoom out, you didn't have any strong movements on the chart, on the daily chart. So no FOMO yet on Centrifuge. And I think it's something like below. 200 million dollars uh, of a market cap so at least a 5x i think is very doable in this bull market by the end of the year or potentially in january wherever we end up i do apologize about that wherever we end up uh you know having that blow off top so look for this double pa uh, double bottom pattern look for this rectangle that i have for you guys from one dollar 62 cents to one dollar 44 70 cents that will be your buy area this is where i would recommend getting into into centrifuge because as you can see this area previously was a as is, was a zone of resistance then we broke through it back test as support and now we can come back for that retest of the support which uh, actually co-aligns with the golden ratio that we have set up here so we do have the fib retracement set up from the swing low september 20 first 22nd to the swing high october 7th okay and actually let me just bring that up just a bit all right so what did i just do is i brought the fib up so that the swing high was at this wick so what you can do is you can actually ignore the wicks right but i like to use them on my fib retracements so there you go. You have the bounce off the 0 0.5. Now you're sort of losing the golden ratio, okay? Because now your high, your your swing high is a bit higher. So the fib retracement, the golden ratio went a bit higher as well. Now what you're looking to do is to find support. Now you can see that without any technical indicators, this is your previous swing high over here and this over here this is your swing low. So there's a lot of, you know, uh, a high chance of probability that you're going to bounce from this area because you have a swing low and a swing high in these positions. Obviously, you can start going down and going lower. 
that is still possible. You can come back all the way down to the 0.382 at $1.33. But I would say that is highly unlikely unless Bitcoin has a major correction to 55K or 54K or whatever it is. And yeah, it still can happen, right? Bitcoin can correct that low because exchanges will get their billions in liquidations once again, but we don't know if that's going to happen, right? And if it does happen, then buy more centrifuge tokens. That is what I'm going to be doing. So if we take a look at this 1.618 extension over here, that takes us to $5.02, and that would be one uh, great target to take profits in this bull market. Below that, we do have the 1.414 at $4.04, and below that, we do have the 1.272 at $3.00 and 45 cents so these will be my major three take profits areas if we get overextended i may leave some tokens like 20 or 35 percent left for uh you know to ride out if we get overextended to these higher fib levels and the second fib level the 2.272 or the 2.414 okay so that's it for the daily chart on trading view let's jump into the rsi you can see we're being suppressed by this resistance zone over here this trend line is representing a resistance that we are unable to break through now what you want to look for is you want to look for a break because once you see that break of resistance you come back up you potentially come back for a retest because that's always healthy right so you break through back test of support potentially and that's where you come up to these overextended and overbought zones on the RSI. So if you're above 70, you're overbought on the RSI. If you're below 30, you're oversold. Keep that in mind. RSI is one of the best indicators to use. So look for a break on this resistance line. Now, uh, we are on KuCoin. This is the daily chart once again. And I do have the FIB set up a bit differently from here. This is from the swing high in August to the swing low in September. And you can see that we have actually been rejected from the zero point, uh, from the 1.618 quite a few times. So one, two, three, four, five, six rejections from that zone. And that is two dollars and a bit lower than that. Two dollars, 15 cents, pretty much. So that's where is uh, where our major resistance level is, right? And you can see that now this these white lines do not represent a rising wedge by any means. This is too large to be a rising wedge. This upper trend line represents a level of resistance. And this uh, lower trend line was representing a multi-week support trend line that we just lost. So we're losing crucial support right now. But what we're doing instead is we're forming a bullish pattern, which is a falling wedge over here. You can see we're coming back down, squeezing up, squeezing up. And the target from that falling wedge is exactly where it was formed over here. And it was formed on the 1.618. So your target right now is $2.15. Whether we get there tomorrow, whether we get there in a week, depending on how long the pullback is going to be, we are going to get there because the falling wedge is one of the most is one of the most famous and the most reliable uh, patterns in all of TA. So yeah, look for $2.15. That is a 26% trade from here. Jumping into the stochastic RSI, you can see that we're pretty much in the floor right now. This is your floor. This is where you want to be buying. So very, very great opportunity, a, an amazing opportunity to get into this project at a low price of $1.70. Jumping into the RSI, uh, we just checked the RSI out, but we're doing good sitting at 48 on the index, nothing too overextended. On the MACD, we haven't had a bullish cross yet, so no confirmations of the uptrend. We are above the histogram, which is good, but we do have a bearish cross set in, and we tried to go for the bullish cross and failed immediately, and then we had the next bearish cross. So for confirmations, if you're looking, if you're sitting on the sidelines and waiting for confirmations that a bullish cross on the MACD would be your confirmation, right? That would be your confirmation of the uptrend. So look for the MACD for those confirmations. But other than that, I'm very bullish on Centrifuge. Amazing projects bringing real world assets into DeFi. So yeah, check out the, uh, the fundamental review I did on this video. If you haven't already, check out the Discord server and the Telegram chat. Make sure to 
check out the two videos on your screen right now. I'm going to catch you in the next one. Goodbye and good night.